Hi everyone! Today I will talk in detail about the concept of shape and dimension of a NumPy array. This is a subject that is sometimes confusing when you start learning NumPy. And, if you do not have a clear understanding about it, you will have a hard time advancing in NumPy and in data science. Let's open a Jupyter Notebook and start with import NumPy as NP. First, we will create a one-dimensional NumPy array with the command np.array. Ok, Control enter we execute it and we see the new array 1, 2, 3. It has one set of parentheses, which means this, this is a one-dimensional array. With the command a1.shape, we see the shape of this array. It's, uh, it means one dimension with three elements. Ok, one, two, three. If we try to transpose an array with the command dot t, we see that it has the same shape because it has only one dimension. Let's create a two dimensional NumPy array. Control enter executed and we see that A2 has a 2 by 3 shape which means two rows and three columns. If we look here in detail we will see that the innermost set of parentheses shows the number of columns yes, two columns, and then we have three sets of parentheses, three sets of rows, and then it is enclosed by the second set of parentheses. We go and create a third dimensional NumPy array, A3. A3 dice shape, two, by 2 by 3, which means it has three dimensions of two elements, two rows and three columns. We will learn to read it like this. We start with the innermost set of parentheses, which means the columns. Okay, We have three columns, which is three. Then we have two rows, which is here, two. And then we have two sets, two groups of a two-set array, okay? Which means we have a three-dimensional NumPy array with two elements in each uh, dimension. <coughs> now we go to see a four-dimensional NumPy array we will uh, start by creating a three-dimensional array of zeros with this command np.zeros with six columns, four rows and three elements uh, in the third dimension. OK? We execute it and we have this array. So the innermost set of parentheses is six, six columns then four rows, four, and three elements, three elements of a two-dimensional array, which means a matrix of three dimensions, three by four by six. Now, to understand how we create the fourth dimension, we will create the second uh, matrix of zeros where we will add another dimension, the fourth dimension with two elements. We execute it and how do we read it? So we have the, the first set of parentheses which is the columns, okay, six columns, then four rows, 4, 
then three groups which means three elements in the third dimension okay three parentheses means three dimensions and then we have two sets of a three dimensional array this and this yeah three sets of uh, groups of three parentheses and we close with the fourth parentheses meaning that we have a four dimensional array okay two elements in the fourth dimension. We use the command ndim to see how many dimensions we have. Four dimensions. Similarly to np.0s we have np.1s. We fill a matrix only with one. Other ways of creating arrays with the uh, random numbers between 0 and 1 we create a 3 by 4 matrix with the command np.random.random and we see we have this array of um, elements between 0 and 1 and the last uh, type of uh, matrix creation that I want to show you is with the integers with this command np.random.randint we specify until what uh, integer we want to, to be until 10 an array of numbers between 0 and 10 of size 3 by 7 control enter and we have it every time we press it the numbers change. We can fix this by uh, providing the seed of an array. This will be shown in, a, in another video. Thank you for watching this session. If you liked it, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.